Hey my little churros and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing an update of how I edit my videos. How I edit edit my videos tutorial that I posted was like I don't even know how long ago it was I think it was like nine months ago I'm pretty sure I posted it in January and it's now September which is crazy but yeah my editing has changed quite a bit since then I've actually changed editors from Filmora to Final Cut Pro so my editing has changed a lot um, and a lot of you guys have been complimenting my editing lately and I really 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 appreciate it so thank you to everyone who takes your time to comment and um, say that because it really means a lot to me but yeah so basically so firstly some things about final cut pro it is, it is it is a paid editor unfortunately it is $300 um but um you can do a 90 day free trial which is completely free and you have access to the whole final cut pro a few of my friends have done that but personally i have the full version like the paid version but when i got my computer there was an option to add it on for 99 dollars, so i didn't pay the whole 300 but i think if you don't add it on with your macbook then you do have to pay 300 dollars. but um Something else that I need to say was it is only for MacBook. Um, sadly, that is one of the more unfortunate things about Final Cut Pro. But if you do have a MacBook, I definitely recommend investing into it, especially if you are planning to do YouTube for a long time, because I definitely think Final Cut Pro has really helped my editing and I love it so much. But yeah, with that said, let's get started. So basically first, how you create a project if you're completely new to Final Cut Pro is you want to go up and click File, New, library and then you just want to name it so i'm just going to name it edit Paint. and then you just want to click save and then you want to click new project and you can just name it so i just named it how i edit my videos and you can switch all the format and stuff normally i like to make the resolution 1920 by 1080 so it fix, fits the youtube format and you can just click okay and then basically it would just show this little like black line thingy but basically that's where all your content goes so um basically how you add on content is you just want to find your clip so i'm going to go ahead and find a clip okay so i found a little clip from my welcome to my channel video but um basically what you want to do is you can just drag it on and then there there's your clip so um then um first thing that i'm going to cover is um cutting and like splitting videos i will leave timestamps in the description for every single like part that i cover transitions editing text etc so first thing that i'm going to do is the probably the most basic thing is splitting your video so basically let's say i want to cut out this little thing until i'm like start talking first of all i'm going to mute the video because my voice will overlap with this recording um and that would not not be fun anyways so so um, basically once you have where you want to split, you want to make sure this red line is where you want to split and it's highlight your click is highlighted yellow. And then basically what you want to do is you could just want to click command B on your keyboard and then just the delete key and now it is deleted. If you do want to do it another way, another way you can do it is, I'm um, just have your red line where you want, go up here, trim, blade, and then it's the same thing. You just need to click delete on your keyboard. Personally, I think command B is a lot faster, but if you're new to Final Cut Pro, then you can obviously do that. Um, but yeah, let's basically all for splitting it's pretty simple but yeah so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into text so a lot of you probably see the text that i use in my videos it's pretty basic it's normally like pink or blue or purple or whatever my theme really is um in my last video was orange because um of my fall theme but basically what you want to do is you want to go up to this little text icon click it go to titles basic title drag it on um you can obviously use any of these titles personally i like using basic title and boogie lights if i'm going for something a bit more like poppy i guess i'm um, also ignore how my voice sounds so rough like i do not know why it sounds so bad anyways um so um then you just want to write in your text i'm gonna write hi my churros and then basically what you kind of do is you can go over this, this size thing and resize it and you can change the font i'm going to keep it helvetica but they have so many custom fonts um that you can choose from and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and face show and then you can just change the color by using this little wheel thing so i'm just going to make it 
so I like that pink. Um, you can also use this and this and this, but personally, I like using the wheel. Um, and then what you can do is you can add an outline or a drop shadow. Normally, I just like to add an outline. I normally like to make it like a hotter color, um, maybe that really, really hot pink. So that is my text. Obviously, you can adjust it to your liking. But then let's say you like it and you want to save it for future videos. Just go up to this thing where it says normal, save appearance attributes, and then you can just save it. And let's say you don't want your text like right here. What you can do is go to this little boxy icon, change it to transform, and then you can just drag it down. I actually want to make it yeah, that looks good. And then let's say you want to like add a transition onto your text. And basically, I will leave a link in the description of all these little custom transitions. I did not make any of these, so full credits to the creator. I will also link a video in the description on how to add these onto Final Cut Pro. Um, but yeah, so let's say I want to use this little wavy slide. So you can just drag it onto your text. And then basically, if you replay it, it will just kind of transition in. And then it will... Um, transition out um so that's if you want to add a little transition to your text and also sound effects this does not have to do only with text you can basically add sound effects whenever but um basically what you want to do is click this little music and camera icon and then some of my favorite sound effects is this i also like using this and sometimes this but basically how you do that is you can just go into Final Cut Pro and as you can see they have so 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 many um sound effects but my favorite ones is this. Okay guys, this is editing Sumi here and I apologize how it's not like me but my photo booth was glitching like it was lagging a lot so I had to use just this plain background but I keep saying like is instead of are like some of my favorite sound effects is blah 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 it's some of my favorite sound effects are I think my parents would know better so if you're watching this just tell me if i'm wrong or not but yeah also i apologize for the inconsistent inconsistency lately but anyways that's all i want to say okay bye this bo oops a bottle cork you can just add it on and then if you replay oh oops if you replay you can see it pops and then something um else that i like to use from final cut pro is hand open you can just add it on but yeah, the other one that I like to use is computer mouse, and this is actually not on Final Cut Pro. So basically what you want to do to get that is you want to go into Chrome or whatever browser you use. You want to go into YouTube, and then you just want to search up computer, computer. Oh, sound effect. You want to absolutely always add sound effect because otherwise random videos will pop up. But then basically... You just want to right click and click copy link address and then you want to go to this thing called mp3 converter i will link this in the description if you want to use it but basically it will just show you like this you can just click x and then you just want to paste it which is command v and then you can just click download i'm not going to download it because i already have it but basically you can just click download and then basically you want to go back onto final cut pro and you just want to add that on and basically you can just add that on like you would add on a clip so i'm just going to go ahead and drag it on and then as you can see it just um goes like oops it just goes like that but yeah so next thing that i want to go into was i want to go into cropping so basically how you crop is um just go to this little transform thing and just drag your video um so that it fits the youtube aspect kind of ratio kind of ratio so it fits the youtube aspect ratio and then basically what you want to do is you can just um let's say you want to zoom into something so let's just split my clip um and let's say that I want to zoom into my cookie. So you just want to click this little arrow, crop, um, Ken Burns, and then you can just um, move this little red box and you can just size it down and move it to where you want it. Let's say I want it on my cookie. Um, so then if you replay it, then you can see it slowly zooms into my cookie. But let's say you just want to crop something. So just split your clip where you want and then you can just... Um, click on little crop um and then just click crop and then you can just move this little box to where you want it let's say i want it on my um shirt for some reason <laughs> um just click that and then it will crop into my shirt um yeah <laughs> um so next thing that i wanted to go over is um um 
transitions i already kind of showed you how to do a transition here but let's say you want to do like a video transition so basically you can just split your clip and then obviously final cut pro has so 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 many to choose from so you can just kind of choose whichever one you want i've actually never used this one let me try this one so then you can just drag it on right there and then as you can see um it transitions into your clip um which is actually oh, this one is so Ooh, I've actually never used it before, but yeah, it just transitions into your clip. So that's basically all for transitions. You can obviously also add like a swoosh sound effect when the transition is playing. You can customize it to your liking, but normally I just add the transition. Um, so yeah, that's basically all for transitions. The next thing that I wanted to go over is effects. So um, I just, I'm going to split my clip. Let's go like that. And then you just want to go to the little box next to next to the transitions and these are all the effects like there are so 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 many to choose from so basically i like to go to distortion and then sometimes when i say something funny i like to do fisheye because it kind of makes it like funny looking like oh my gosh look at my head <laughs> anyways um so that's fisheye and then another one that i like to use is underwater you guys have probably seen me use this a lot like i use this a lot more lately than i used to but it just basically like does that and then you can obviously like adjust it you can make it like super slow if you want that's barely anything but yeah um and then something else that i like to add is i like to add earthquake earthquake basically just shakes the clip um like an earthquake would do to the world but um you can just make it more intense like oh, the world is shaking anyways so that's an earthquake effect thing um and then you can obviously, like, when I do editing Zoomy, um, you can just um, add this. I normally like to add this little recording thing and write, like, edit Zoomy. And then, yeah, that's basically just a little, like, recording thing. Um, but, yeah, you can obviously just go through all of these. There are so, so, so many to choose from. And something else regarding effects is when I kind of make my voice muffled like this. Hi. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you do that. Let me just... Okay, so basically, as you can see, this is full volume, like, but if you want to make it more muffled, then just go to all video in audio and type in muff muffled, and then you just want to add that on. So that, as you can tell, it's very muffled. Um, so normally I like to do that when I'm doing like intros, like, hey, my little churros. And then, yeah, that's basically what I like to do, but I'm just going to do it again. Do it again. Um, so basically that's all for effects. And then, um, the next thing that I wanted to go over was just overlays in general. So normally what I like to do for overlays is I sometimes add like custom text from Photoshop, um, or you can use like photo PF, it doesn't really matter. Um, but basically you just want to split your clip where you want it. And then I will drag on one of my pre-made overlays for like a random video. So let, I just got this little like my new theme overlay and basically you can just like adjust it and split it where you want. So basically you could just like split it um, and then basically you can just kind of. And then you can kind of just resize it. Stop letting me resize. Stop letting me resize. Anyways, you get the point. You can resize it. Um, and basically sometimes what I like to do for these. So I normally like to add a sound effect. So just for um, easiness, I'm just going to add this can open because I'm lazy. But basically if you just want to like add that, then it just says in my new theme. You can also blur the clip. And basically how you do that is just go to effects. Um, oops, go to effects, blur, and then Gaussian, and then kind of just blur it. But if that's optional too. Um, and then you can also add like effects onto it. Like if you want to make it like shaky. Um, you can just add, you know, earthquake. Um, and basically that's how I like to do it. And then sometimes um, I like to add transitions onto my effects, kind of like text. Um, like, let's just add this one on. And then you can kind of just like go like that. And also if you don't want it to like transition out with a transition, you can just delete it. But yeah, so that's all for little like overlays. Obviously I like to add like different ones, but um, normally I like to use ones like this for like certain things in my videos. Um, yeah, this overlay is super crusty, so we're just gonna delete it because I honestly hate it, which is why I didn't use it in my video. But um, anyways, so um, I think I pretty much covered everything um is there anything i'm missing oh yeah how you speed up a clip is you or slow it down you can just split it let me just split it here and then you can just go here fast um let's make it 20 times i mean actually that is way too fast <gasps> that is 
extremely fast. Let's make it four times. And then you can kind of just like watch it and it speeds up, you know. Um, that actually looks really cool. But um, you can also slow it down. Um, yeah, that's basically how you do that. And hmm. Let's say um, you want to change the coloring of a clip, especially on vlogs, you have to do this because if it's really highly saturated, um, you just want to click here and then you can kind of like bring it up, you know, bring it down, you know, you get the point. It looks very creepy and Halloween-y right now. That actually looks really creepy. Anyways, um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Oh yeah, how you add music. Um, basically, how you add music is you just... Um, you can just drag it on, so let me find some music. So basically, let me just add on this, because I'm too lazy to find a different one. Um, so basically this one, as you can see, it's pretty loud. And obviously I like to keep my music a tiny bit like, a tiny bit, what am I trying to say? A tiny bit louder when I'm not talking. But when I am talking, I do not want the music to be like, crazy loud over my voice so um normally i just bring it down until um i like it and until you can kind of hear my voice with it but i obviously i re bleh, i really recommend adding background music in general just because it really like makes your videos less boring especially when you're not talking or it just makes your videos a lot more entertaining but yeah i'm pretty sure i covered everything but yeah thank you guys so 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 much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you made it to this point comment this emoji that i will put in the screen so i know you stayed all the way to the end and again i'm not a pro with final cut pro oh that rhymed wow anyways i um taught myself everything that i learned um so yeah i'm definitely not a pro with it but these are just some of the things that i've learned um if you if you use final cut pro and know anything else definitely feel free to comment down below because i'm always willing to learn new things um this editing app is absolutely amazing like oh my gosh i love it so much but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed bye little